Number 18, once the horizontal asymptote, we always, for horizontal, think Bobo, Botten, eats DC. Either it's bigger on the bottom or bigger on the top, or the exponents are the same. In this case, you have a third power and a first. So it's bigger on top. That means we're looking at Botten, bigger on top, n means none. There is not a horizontal asymptote with this problem. Vertical. Vertical, we always look at the denominator to determine, hey, what can't x be? Because we got to draw a line there so that the so that you can't graph across it. In this case, the bottom is just x being zero. But there's the answer. It's that simple. There's going to be one, which that's the y-axis, please note. So there'll be one right there on the y-axis, basically at the line x equals zero. Number 19, we want the hole and the slant. The slant occurs when the top is one more than the bottom. That's this situation. So it looks like there'll be a slant. However, we got to make sure that there's not a hole, that this top doesn't factor to something and an x plus 6 cancels out. The top does not factor. So this x plus 6, a hole occurs if there had been an x plus 6 in the bottom and up top that had factored to an x plus 6 and something else. And these canceled, leaving a hole with that x being negative 6. That's not the situation. So there is no hole. The slant occurs when the top is one more and it can't be factored and things crossing out, changing what it looks like. So we just do the division here. X and X squared, X. X times X is X squared. X times a six, six X. Subtract the whole thing. Seven X minus six X gives me an X. Bring down the plus one and now start the problem all over again. X goes into X one time. One times X is one X. Six, I subtract the whole thing. Not worried about the remainder. This is what we want. Do not write X plus one as the answer. The answer is the line Y equals X plus one. That is your answer. That is a slope. It has a slope of one and a Y intercept at one. And you'll have some line that'll be slowly approaching, getting closer and closer, but never quite touching that slant asymptote.